I'm Jessica Goddard, and this is your Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with Nancy Burgeon with the weather. Well, we're tracking our next wintry storm system, but it doesn't look to be here until early next week, maybe by the time our New Year's rolls around. So before then, we keep it extremely cold over the next couple of nights, but we do begin a slight warming trend for the afternoon hours. We're going to start to see that southwesterly feed coming back into the state, and this helps to warm us up just a tad before that next system comes on through. We're also going to see an increase in moisture, especially down to the south of us, so we could be seeing some pretty significant showers coming along with this next system. So. Over the next couple of days, we continue with the slight warming trend, followed by our next cool down. Looks like we're going to see some shower activity coming with this one as well. Following the Sandy Hook massacre, Santa Fe's mayor says he has a plan to keep unwanted guns off the streets. Mayor David Koss has announced a gun buyback program. Other cities that use the program give anywhere from $100 to $200 in cash or gift cards, depending on the type of gun turned in. Koss is still working out the details with the city and police department. Should there just be no questions asked? I, knew, I know they do that in some cities. Uh, when you get guns, uh, should the police department be checking them to make sure that some of the guns turned in um, haven't been used in a crime? Well, he's aiming to hold the first event on the second or third Saturday in January. Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry and APD Chief Ray Schultz also announced a voluntary gun disposal program for the city today. The FBI in Gallup investigating the death of an eight-year-old boy who was killed by a pack of dogs. It happened in Pine Hill in Cibola County on Wednesday. The Cibola Beacon is reporting that a pack of feral dogs mauled the child who was found unresponsive. Nine dogs, including one that belonged to the family of the boy, were taken to, from the scene to the Grants Animal Care Center, where they'll be euthanized. Join us for more news tonight at 10.